What's up guys, uh, welcome back to the next video in learning mathematics. My name is QDS Dan and you guys are watching my channel Crywood. So we're going to construct a ta truth table for P implies Q and Q implies R. And now if you look in here, we're going to put a P. So it's going to be for uh, T. We're going to have the first T, the second T. We're going to have third T. And we're going to have four T. Now we're going to have a uh, five F, four F. So we're going to have a four, it's going to be F. So it's eight rows. The first four is going to be uh, all T and the four is going to be all F. In the next uh, table, we're going to put a Q, we're going to put a two T. These two guys here, keep in mind, we put a two T and then we're going to put a 2f then we're going to put a f here then we're going to put another f here then we have we're going to put a t here then we're going to put a 2t and then we're going to put a 2f here so it's going to be another f okay so on the right on the r we're going to put a tf tf and tf we're going to put a tf then uh, we're going to put a T and then we're going to put a F. So here we're going to put a T, we're going to put a F. Then uh, we're going to put a T and then here we're going to put a F. All right, so now our P, Q and R here, if you guys notice here, we put a four T and we got to put a four F. Here we put a two T and two F put a 2t and 2f and here we put a 2tf tf tf and tf all right so now we're going to come here and say we p implies q if this guy is going to be true and uh, q implies r and this guy is going to be true as well and uh, p implies q if you look in here p implies q and q implies r this guy is going to be true as well so the first column is going to be all true the second one is that we show you guys that uh, if you get an A, then I'll reward you. If you don't get an A, then I'm not going to reward you. So it doesn't matter if you got an A or not. So if you're not getting A, it doesn't matter if I give you money or not. So it's still the situation, the condition is still going to be true. So we're going to come, we're going to use the same formula. P implies Q, which is this guy is going to be true, true. This guy is going to be true. And uh, here, then um, P, this guy is going to be true and false. Then this guy is going to be false. And uh, the next one is going to be F again. Then the fifth one is going to be this guy here, the, the FT, and it becomes a T. And this guy is going to be here, is uh, true. Then uh, this guy is going to be true. And then uh, the two F's becomes a true. And these two, then there's another two F's is called also going to be true. All right, so now we're going to come here at the Q implies R. So we could be looking for a Q, which is the T and it's going to be T, which was uh, okay first. Well, uh, what about Q? What about T? And then we have a F and this one's going to be F. And now we have uh, here on the third one, we have uh, false, false and true. This one becomes a true. So the false and true becomes a true. So the false and false becomes a true. Because it's uh, Q implies R, the false false becomes a true. And here the true true becomes a true. The third one is we're going to have a true and uh, then this is going to be the true and false the this guy is here true and false becomes a false and then the next one is going to be false and true becomes a true and then uh, becomes a false implies false becomes a true so that's how you guys do that q and this guy is here all here and this guy is here you guys do the implication that we've seen in the previous videos so we have a tf then we have a tf here then we have a ttt then we have a 
single F here. Now we have a double T here. All right, so now we're gonna come here. Uh, P implies Q and uh, Q implies R. And that one's gonna be the first one's gonna be true. And then uh, this one's gonna be, so if you look in here, if you look in here, the P implies Q, this guy is here. And keep in mind, we have to do imply the, the end, not the, not the or. So if you guys have an or like this, then it's gonna have a totally different result. But since we are uh, doing uh, T, this tot coming totally, uh, totally different. So the first one's gonna be because it's a true, true becomes a true. And the second one, because it is true and false, it becomes false. And keep in mind, we're doing uh, end. And this one's gonna be false and true becomes false. And then false and true again, it becomes false. And then the next one's gonna be a true and uh, true, it becomes a true. And then we have a uh, true and false and true and false here, it becomes a false. And then um, we have a uh, true and true, T and T becomes a true. And then the last one's gonna be T and T becomes a true. So that's how you guys gonna feel. So I'm gonna clear uh, this guy here. This guy is here. So I'll write it again for you if you want. So uh, that's Q implies R. Okay, so I'll write again. Q implies R, so it's gonna be T, F, T, T. So it's gonna be T, then it's gonna be F. Then it's gonna be T. Then it's gonna be T. False and true becomes false. True and true, it becomes a true here. So here is false, so it becomes a F here. So I should make a bigger F. And here T and T, it becomes a true. And the last one is T, is uh, becomes a T. So we have a uh, TF and uh, we have a t t t true 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 and we have a false here and we have a true and true here all right so that's how we gonna solve this um, we're gonna construct a true table of uh, p implies q and q implies r so that's how we're gonna do that all right guys so in this next video we're gonna see what is uh, logically equivalent in the true table all right uh, that's it for this video and uh, if you have any question or comment leave in comment box Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video and bye.